Hello everyone and welcome to Imagination Computer Camp's Tech Tips. My name is Jason and I will be walking you through these tips and tutorials over the next few months. These are just going to be little examples of the kinds of things that campers learn at camp in our workshops. Uh, the first thing we're going to go through is how to remove red eye from your favorite photographs using a couple different pieces of software. We're going to be using Windows Live Photo Gallery, which if it's not on your computer already, uh, it's a free download from Microsoft.com. It's called the Windows Live Essentials Pack. Uh, we're also going to be using Adobe Photoshop, uh, which is available at adobe.com for uh, a pretty hefty price tag. Uh, so, like I said, the first thing we're going to go through is how to remove red eye using Windows Live Photo Gallery. So let's get to it. Hello everyone, here we are on the computer, and we are going to go through how to remove red eye using Windows Live Photo Gallery. So the first thing we're going to need is a photograph that has some red eyes that we need to fix. I have a pretty good example right here, I'm going to bring it up, and there we have it. As you can see, a pretty distinct case of red eye in the pupil there. So red eye is actually caused by light from the flash of the camera entering the human eye, bouncing around off the retina and all that good stuff, and then bouncing out. Leaves the eye red in a photograph. Now most digital cameras these days have a remove red eye function built right into the camera, and you can actually go through these steps before you even take the photo off of your camera and put it on your computer. But if for whatever reason your camera doesn't have that function or it doesn't look the way you want it, there's a pretty good way to do it. So this window that we're looking at right now actually is just the preview window. We can't do hardly any editing in this actual window. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top left and we're going to press the edit, organize, or share button. Just left click on that. That's going to launch uh, the actual editing piece of the software. And here is some photos that I've been working on recently, but this is the one we want to use right now. So I'm going to double click on that and bring it up. All right, so now we are all set to start editing our photo. There's actually some, some pretty cool, quick and easy uh, photo editing tools up here. Uh, but the only one we're going to worry about right now is the red eye tool. Uh, there's a tool tip that explains what it does and how it works. It says reduce the appearance of red eye. Drag the mouse pointer to draw a rectangle around the eye you want to fix. All right, pretty easy. So to get the tool going, I'm going to left click on the red eye button and it's going to turn the button gold. That signifies that the tool is engaged and ready to use. And my cursor has also changed from an arrow to a crosshair. We're going to use this crosshair to draw a rectangle around the pupils to get rid of this red. So I'm going to put my cursor right about here and to draw my rectangle, I am going to hold down the left mouse button. I'm going to drag it, still holding it down. Uh, that looks good. I'm going to let go. All right, there we go. One pass. I pretty much got all of it except for a little bit here on the left side. Yeah, one more time. There we go. That looks pretty good. So pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, cleared out a lot of it. So we're going to move over to the next eye. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to line it up, hold down the left mouse button, drag out a rectangle. We're going to let go. There we go. The vast majority of it again. We still have a little bit right there that I don't like. Draw another rectangle. Get rid of that. All right. Looks pretty good. That worked out really well. Now, in most cases, you're going to have to make more than one or two passes to get things looking the way you want it. Not a big deal. Uh, just keep at it until you get it the way you want it. So that was how to remove red eye using Windows Live Photo Gallery. Next up is Photoshop. Thanks, everyone.